Hi, welcome to Antlab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. Hi, I'm Francis. Today we're bringing you... Lacrimosa. Lacrimosa. Yes, we are going to be composing you a song. We are. Kind of. Well, kind of, sort of. <laughs> so we, uh, and Lacrimosa is a game about Mozart. Mm -hmm. right? The year 1791. Mozart is on his deathbed. Uh, and while he was writing his, the Lacrimosa mm -hmm. of Requiem, of the Requiem uh, in D minor, <laughs> he... Uh, he unfortunately passed away. Yeah, he got like eight bars in. Yeah, 34 years old, by mm -hmm. the way. He was very young. Yes. And uh, his widow, Constance, um, hired patrons, us, mm -hmm. to go out and find other composers to complete his uh, his, his, his uh, work. work. Yeah, the Lacrimosa. Mm -hmm. So in this game, we're going to be going around and recounting our story uh, of our travels with Mozart mm -hmm. uh, while we knew him, while he was alive, um, and then contributing... Uh, or sponsoring composers yes. as they contribute uh, Requiem tokens to the overall s Lacrimosa. Mm -hmm. That, that is yes, a very good overview. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. All right, so let, this, look, it, it sounds <laughs> simple when we say that, but it's not. It's Trust a... us on that because it's a yeah. little, it's, the story itself is complex and, and, yes. and there's a lot of things going on, a lot of, a lot of words I've never used before. <laughs> <laughs> like Requiem and Lacrimosas and, yeah. and all these things. I love this. I'm a music person. All right. So, but thematically, that's what's happening yes. here, right? So if you take a look at the table, you've got quite a bit going on in a very vertically positioned board. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is a beautiful map of Europe here. There is. Uh, so ba I'll just go over the quick setup. Yeah. And then we'll jump in, right? So we are each, as we said, we're each sponsors. Uh, we have our own player boards that are really nice and neat because they're actually little booklets, by the way. We'll talk about that later. But we start out with a deck of nine cards. Um, and these are cards that are going to be, that we're going to be playing out to our player board. Uh, we also start with an opus. Mm -hmm. uh, each player starts with their own opus. So these are, these are pre-designed decks for each player. They're mm -hmm. pretty much the same. Yep. Uh, but we have these opuses that we'll be able to perform or sell at some point. You know, on our turn, if we so choose to, yep. uh, it just kind of gives you a little bit of starting, um, I guess, resources in a yeah, way. Yeah, well, you it gives utilize. you an opportunity to gain more resources because Correct. they are very tight in the game. Yep, exactly. So when we look at uh, the game in itself, there are basically really simple uh, phases, right? There's a main phase where we're going to be able to take, we, we take our actions, right? We're mm -hmm. going to play two cards, draw two cards. I'll go, she'll go, to go back and forth until we're out of cards. There's only nine cards in this deck. Yeah. So we're only going to go like four times. Yep. And then that's the round. And we're going to play for five rounds. So the way that the, the deck of cards is seated, uh, it's got all five rounds in it in order because they get the, the actions get progressively better as, as yes. time goes on. Um, so on the very top is our is sort of our offer where we're going to be able to, to play memory cards and acquire uh, additional cards uh, from the offer into our decks, yes. which will replace our cards, unless it's an opus and you just bring it down to your tableau. Yeah, you'll see how that works. Yep, so pretty simple. This is phase one. At the end of the era, we're gonna be able to score bonuses based on cards we've played mm -hmm. uh, into our into our player board. Uh, we're gonna be visiting different cities while we move Mozart around and gaining uh, bonuses mm -hmm. instantly or bonuses for end game, yes. which we'll talk about again. Um, down here is the Lacrimosa. Right, this is our Requiem. Yep, so let me, I have a map so I could zoom yes, in there real quick. Look at that. So yes, this is the actual song we're composing. Um, we need to get these instrumental parts contributed. What What's that? That's what you did there. You did? They're instrumental. Oh, they are very instrumental <laughs> to the completion of this, of this uh, song here. So the Lacrimosa, right? So we're going to be filling all these in with, our, with tokens from our player boards over here. These are the Requiem tokens. And we're bringing them here. And they, they each represent certain instruments that we'll be able to match up and yes. play onto that player board, right? Uh, down here. And this is how we're really going to score at the end of the game, is mm -hmm. how well we contributed and by um, which of the composers contributed the most to each section of this, this Requiem. Requiem. Yeah. Exactly. So that is, um, that is sort of like the scoring uh, at the end of the game. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than just that. Yeah. But for the most part, that's really it. And there's only a handful of actions you can take yes. based on the cards, right? Yep. Um, and we'll, you'll see them as they come out. Yeah, we'll explain we'll, them as, as you, we go. In our usual fashion. Yep. So we'll explain as we go, yeah. you have the player one token. This so is you, the player one tuning fork. Tuning fork. Ding. So you're going to start us off. Okay. And um, to begin the game, we each draw Oops. four cards from our deck. It stays here. Like I said, yes. we have our opus, our starting opus. 
Um, and we are going to play two cards. When we play two cards, you play one to the top, one to the bottom, and you're going to demonstrate yep, gonna that right, right now. now. So what, what are you starting us with? Exactly. All right, nice. Um, so I'm going to do this. All right, so we're going to play one to the top and one to the bottom. So the way that this works is I have this card, for example. You want to zoom in on my board? There you go. So I've got this card, which is going to allow me to take one of these memory cards yes. up at the top it's of the called board. called document memories. Yep, I'm documenting doing. my memories. I've got my little journal and my candle, and I'm like, remember those times with Mozart? Okay, yeah. I'm doing that. So I'm going to slide this in. I don't, that's like what I would probably talk like uh, if I was okay. it's this 1791. patron. It's <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why she hired me. Um, so I'm going to document some memories. Now, this is a unique action in that this is kind of how we are going to update our hand because we're kind of mm -hmm. doing some hand management or deck management, right? Uh, or deck, it's like deck building, right? But we're always going to maintain our deck of nine cards. Yep. So with this particular action, we can go up here to the memory offer. And you'll see that there's two types of cards as Anthony alluded to. So we have these action cards and then we also have the opus cards. Mm -hmm. And the opus cards require a different action yep. to take. But Sponsoring an opus. Yes, but these document memories, these cards are available to us. Um, so I'm going to pay for- Yeah, they're for called memory cards. And take, I said that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. All right. Um, so the way that that works is I'm going to have to pay. So come back to my board you real will quick pay. and I'll show you how you will pay. Right. Um, so this particular memory card is going to cost $2 plus one of any resource. And we have three different resources in this game. Um, and I will pay any one of them. And the way that this track works, it might look like an income track, but it's not. Um, we, at the end of this round, are actually going to set all of these cubes back to zero. Mm -hmm. So it behooves us to actually spend them. Um, I am going to go ahead and spend like this red one, like that, and then uh, I'll pay my two dollars. So could you change me for three dollars? Yep, they're called ducats. Oh, duca ducats. I like ducats. Ducats. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? And then I'm going to take the card that I just purchased. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, we're actually going to get rid of this card mm -hmm. and replace it. And that card is out of the game. Out of the guard, out of the game forever. It is gone. So it's going just put it off right to there. The side. Yep, and it's going to get replaced by yep. this one. And then you now. Yep. I want to mention the reason. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons I took this is because our bonus card over mm -hmm. here is actually going to give us a bonus at the end of the round for the travel action that shows up in our uh, in your tableau. Uh, in our tableau. Well, and you're, and, you're board, yeah. and that, that that'll qualify as yeah. as earning her two bucks. Yes. Even though she didn't actually take the travel. Even though I didn't actually take the travel action. So I will now play a card to the bottom, mm -hmm. and maybe I'll play this one. And player one starts with 10 ducats, player two starts with 11. Yep, so these bottom cards are going to grant us resources, but not right now. Mm -hmm. They're going to actually occur during our kind of uh, maintenance phase. And they so. typically... Grant your resources on the track, yes, not in the token form. Yeah, now, and we'll, yeah, you tokens. If that. you think about Mage Knight, <laughs> you get um, permanent resources or temporary resources. So these would be the permanent ones, where these would be the you know with your little gems. If you played Mage Knight, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, we're on the same same <laughs> wavelength. Now these, when you draft a card, yep. you always push these to the right because they get cheaper. Yeah. Bring a new one out. Now the uh, memory cards go up to the top, and I think I have a better camera view of this. Yeah, there we go. Um, memory cards get pushed up to the top. The opus cards stay at the bottom, and that is because the costs are different for mm -hmm. each type of card. Um, so that was your turn. That's that's, that's her it. whole turn. We're gonna go four. She goes four times. I go four times, and that ends the round. Um, we have, like we said, this this card was the um, the action you just took, mm -hmm. which is drafting a card from the top. Uh, which is memories, right? Doing the memory. Yeah. Uh, this card is sponsoring an opus. So if I wanted to take one of those opus cards, I would play this action card. Uh, I could travel or I could perform my opus, um, which earns me two bucks. I don't really need that right now. So we're not going to do that. I'm thinking like, oh, that's a really good one too. So shall I, shall I travel? Should we start with a little travel? Maybe so. I think we're, let's do that. Let's start off with a little a little travel. Now, traveling is, again, these are memory cards. So we're mem remembering mm -hmm. our travels with Mozart, right? Yes. So he starts in this city of Salzburg. 
Salzburg. Salzburg. Salzburg. Yeah. And I'm going to move them. Right? I can move them as far as I want. doesn't matter. But i got to pay for each leg yes. of the road. So this leg of the road to Wien mm -hmm. is going to cost me $2 or two ducats. So I'm going to mm -hmm. pay those two ducats. Take three back. And I'm going to stop here. And this is where you actually take the action. Now, I pay the cost. Mm -hmm. to, this is a royal court tile. So we're visiting the royal court. Yes. And it's going to cost me two, two of these travel resources. So I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to gain one white disc. So that's a permanent resource. You know, I'll zoom in so you can see that. So now I keep this. And mm -hmm. I can carry that from round to round. And spend it if you want to. And spend it. Um, so now we have, we have that part. And then this token itself, this this uh, tile, comes down and stays with me now. And at the end of the game, I'm going to earn five victory points if I have contributed a violin and a chorus. Yes. Or a choir. A choir. To yeah. the uh, Lacrimosa. So now I need to pick another card. I will put this one down here at the bottom. Like I said, these are the resources we're going to earn on this track mm -hmm. at the start of the next round. Mm-hmm. And I draw two. So that's it. You can play two, draw two. Yes. Um, let's see. I'm just thinking what I want to... Ah, yes, that's what I'll do. Okay. So I am going to take a Requiem action, which is this big old giant cross. Mm -hmm. And the way that that works is we're going to pick um, one of these two composers. So we have Seuss Meyer and uh, Frey Stalder. And like, spoiler alert, Seuss Meyer did help finish the Requiem. Mm. <laughs> but in any case, um, they each have uh, tiles associated with each part of the Requiem here. And each of these parts, again, will be scored at the end of the game based on um, how much we contributed to the Requiem being finished. Or I should say how much we uh, sponsored the that particular, that particular majority <laughs> of yeah, it'll make sense at the end of the game, I guess. Right? Yeah, let, so let me, that let me, composer, yes, exactly. for each segment, yes. that compose, you're fighting to have that composer get majority right. because you're sponsoring him and you're reflecting that you sponsored that particular composer. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. I was going to say it's like a little bit like an economy thing, but it's not really. It's so. not. It's more about area control. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, so we're going to pick one of these yeah, um, so go to your player quarter one. notes here, uh, discs. And again, e these discs have either the quarter note or it's got like the 16th note, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, and we're going to place it anywhere on this uh, Requiem associated with a, uh, a composer. So we'll either use this guy or we'll use this guy here. Yeah, either single or the double. Right. So I'm going to use this and place it here on the chorus mm -hmm. because I took my chorus one, right? Mm. So you got to match it up. Mm -hmm. um, and I am doing this guy so his cost is going to be two um, of these ink wells one dollar mm -hmm. and one purse what so income? this is actually our income at the end of the game so that's going to or not at the end of the game end of the round clean up so that's going to go down by one actually because mm -hmm. i you know he's digging deep in my pockets for this one right for this assistance. But what that's going to do is let me take this tile, flip it over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover up the location where I took that from, mm -hmm. that that disc, and I'm going to get the bonus that's located here. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to get one income back, mm -hmm. which is why I did it that way. So that'll go right there. And now this is a passive bonus for me, and not all of them have passive bonuses. This is going to get me... Um, I have to look that up and see. <laughs> um, every time I take my Requiem action. Um, what that means is basically whenever I take this Requiem action, I'll be able to take it an additional time, paying the additional cost, which is pretty cool. Um, because again, looking back here, I now have, now I have given, I've bumped up Seuss Meyer one time. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping he wins that section, I guess, so that I can get my, my three points. True. Per disc. Per disc. Yeah. So it's not like you're bumping anybody else out. You just. You know, you're not. It's you're pushing just... for that. Because if everybody pushed for the same composer, then you're fine. Right. Um, and then I have to play my. This one. And I will do this. And just bump that up. All right. Your turn. Um, all right. So I was thinking if I want to. 
Yeah, I probably do. I'm going to go ahead and grab a... Uh, I'm going to sponsor an Opus. See if I can do it, actually. Because mm -hmm. um, the cost of the Opus is up top. Yep. All right, so... But when you see the red, that's what you got to pay. So if I wanted this one, for example, it would cost me two of those those black story points, one ducat. That's it. So it's not overly expensive, I don't think. But um, what I could do is... This one's pretty good. It's expensive, though. Mm -hmm. I'll go with this one. So it's two of the black story points and all right so i can just pay one two of these and one coin one ducat grab that guy and um so he's going to come down here and that's just another opus i could play at a certain point if i choose mm -hmm. okay so my bottom card is going to be this one and that's it your turn hmm. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I'll take that. I'll do this. I will also compose an opus. An opus. technical difficulties. Um, so I'm going to actually compose this opus. Mm -hmm. um, now it's all the way in that end spot. So I'm going to pay one story point and two ducat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get three points plus I'm going to get one of these tokens. Well, I forgot to take my two points. That's I'm right. Sorry. <laughs> so Let's get see. your three and I'll get my two. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. You didn't take your points for I that. didn't point that out. Yeah. So you when you when you pay the cost, you actually get the points. Yep. Okay. Um, and then I have to do my bottom one. I will do. Ooh, yikes! Let's we'll do this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I forgot to draw my two cards. Let's Ooh. see what we have here. Yeah, not what I wanted. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll do the, the, the requiem. requiem. Yeah. So doing the Requiem, that's going to, I'll do one of these. I'll probably go here. This is $6. So I'll pay mm. $6 plus one white story point and one income. Mm -hmm. Drop that down. I take this. It's going to gain me four points. Okay. I'll put that. Uh, what do I want to play? I'll play this because I want to get my income back. Mm -hmm. And I took the top one. So Whoa. That, that's going to be. Seuss Meyer. Right? That's who I took, Seuss Meyer. Mm -hmm. And that was the choir. Okay. All right. And I'll put a card on the bottom, which will be this guy. You good? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to travel. Travel points. Um, all right, so I'm actually going to go one, two. So I'll pay two dollars. Give me Actually, three back. I I forgot to move up yeah. my income. How much you want back? Three back, three? please. Um, but you can also give me seven. Well, for what? For this. Oh, you're taking Oh, that. wait. I can't. Do you have two red? I don't have two red to pay. Oh, then oh, you're not yeah, doing yeah, that yeah. travel action. Sorry. Right. Where did you come from? Give me oh, my five you could back. probably go to the other one. Yeah. Oh, There's man. your five. Um, well, I that's... mean, you could go like here, or you could go here. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, for three. Eek, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I could go here, mm. and I could take one of those. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll I'll go 
I'll do it this way. So I'll go one, two instead. Here, mm -hmm. you can have this. So I'll still get three back, please. You'll get two, two back. Two back. And I'll pay one red. Mm -hmm. Let's travel. And that gives you point. So you and it gives that, me this gives thing that. to give me this action. Yeah, so that doesn't, you don't keep them, they just kind of go Yeah, discard. they go away, but I can pay one plus one resource. Mm -hmm. So I'll pay that black story resource, and I'll pay that, and I'll take this. And that will, unfortunately, replace this, because that, that would have yes, given me some points, but that's okay. These heavier actions are They're better. a lot better. Plus, they give you bonuses. For sure. So, and then I will play this one. All okay. right. So, where does that leave me? I've got no travel points left, so I can't do that. Um, yeah, you've just got hmm. these. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh. Wow, okay. Yes? Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you have more Requiem? Do I have Actions? More? Yeah, I could do some stuff. So I could I could do another Requiem. Mm-hmm. Actually. Um, and we'll do this on the bottom. But what that will do is let me take another one of these guys. And I will do, I'll do this one here. Okay. So one coin, one white. Oh, I spent all the resources perfectly. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Take this. So every um, maintenance phase, I'll gain one white resource, mm -hmm. which is nice um, on this track. Uh, okay. So, so that's the cost. So where's that going to go? That is going to go. Violin or timpani? Violin. Or I could do. Or the that, organ, or I yeah. Could do that. That's a timpani. What's that? Oh, is that a timpani? A timpani that looks like a bowl of ramen with two <laughs> chopsticks sticking out of it. That's what it looks like to me. Yes, and you sound hungry. Yes. All right, there you go. So that's going to go here. I will put, and that was the, the same. Stro Stronemeyer. Seussmeyer. Seussmeyer's. What is that? Was that a violin? Yeah. I'll put that there. Boom. What cool. did I get? And I got a red disc for that. Okay. Okay, so now we have one card left, and that stays mm -hmm. in, in our hand. hand. Uh, now we have a bunch of things we're going to do. So we are on the maintenance phase now. Mm -hmm. And in maintenance phase, we're going to do our personal boards first. Yes. So story point tracks all get zeroed out. Yep. And then you go to the bottom of this, and you add up and move your tokens over for however many spaces. So I got one. I got two reds. One I white, have two, two black. Black. One white and one red. Okay. So that's your, basically your starting resources is yep. determined by the bottom part here. Um, composer rewards, composer but you have one. Composer rewards, I do, and I go up one more on this track. So I'm back to where I started, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, finances, finances, two, two bucks. dollars. You get two. I get two. Um, did this, this didn't cost me any finance, did it? No. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> lovely. All right. Uh, and then we have period bonus. I think we we'll so get another two. You get two. I get two. Uh huh. Because for every wagon, you get two dollars, mm -hmm. two ducats. And um, clean, up. clean up. So now we pull all of our cards. You would uh, unexhaust any of the opuses if had you performed them. These get shuffled. Mm -hmm. And you don't draw yet. Yeah. But now you have your draw deck back, and you're ready to go. Yes. All right, so now we move on to the map. So on the map, all of the city tiles get flipped. Now they become more powerful. You see if they are like have the gilded uh, frame around them? Yes. So they give us a little bit more... More rewards. Mm -hmm. We right? like more rewards. And then we bring out more to fill in the cities we've taken. Mm -hmm. Only one of those, right? And then one city. So... They come out weak, and then they get strong. Yes. Okay. Um, now we end up, phase one's over, so you take the rest of the cards from phase one. That goes off the board. The phase two rewards, error reward comes mm -hmm. out, and we drop the far the four to the right. Mm -hmm. Those come off. Everything slides. And 
we bring out new cards. Now these are era two cards, they're a little more powerful. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that should be everything. So that's the map and the row of cards. Pass first player marker. Yep. To me. There you go. And I start us out. So again, we draw. Now you only have to draw three cards because you had one card left from the previous round. Yep. We've got our three cards. Now I have four. And what do we want to do? Hmm. This is where it gets very exciting. <laughs> it does get pretty exciting at this point. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Just looking at what we have here because everything's really good now. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to travel mm. right off the bat. Mozart and I have a trip to make. <laughs> We're going to go from here to here, and that's three ducats. Okay. There's a lot of traveling together. I see. So it's going to cost me <laughs> two or so you say. travel, but I'm going to get three dollars plus one victory point. One, two, three dollars. One victory point, and that's it. So basically, um, if I contribute to one and five, I'll get four points end game. Mm -hmm. That's that. So uh, I just need one for the bottom. This will be good. All right, go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. I see where I want to go if yeah. I want to travel. I suppose. Let's see. So we'll do this. I'm going to travel as well. And I'm going to pay $2 mm -hmm. to go here to Lyon. And that allows me to take a make an opus. Action. Yes, and you paid a um, a red. Yes, I pay red. Travel. Um, I'm gonna write this opus. So it's gonna be three dollars and two story points. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Two black story points. That's what I said. Yeah. Well, you just said two story points. Oh. They're all story points. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whatever. Um. One, two, three, four points for that. Right. Plus, I get a point and a dollar because that's the bonus on this card. The bonus on this card. A little, because it's a gilded frame, so it has uh, a little yeah. bonus. And it gets discarded, and you played your bottom card? Nope. Oh, I didn't play my bottom card last time either. Um, Whoops. Really? Oh, no, this is my first turn. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Wow>. cheating yet. <laughs> Not yet, but that will come. It's coming. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go right ahead and just get to it, folks. So oh, go yeah. Go ahead and uh, oh. write. <coughs> Some good stuff here, real good stuff. So oh. we'll pay $2 and a black resource. Well, we'll do a white resource, white story point. Two and one. Bam. This is going to replace this guy. He's out of the game. Bring out. Oh. Hmm. I think we're going to get rid of this one. Okay. Ah, no. Not going to do that. We'll get rid of this one. Okay, here we go. It's tough. Mm -hmm. I'm not really in a position to do anything. 
that I want to do. Um, all right, I'm going to perform an opus. Mm. And... I will perform this opus for three dollars. You get three dollars. Yep. Okay. There you go. I think it will. And on the bottom, we will do this. I am also going to perform on my turn. Okay. But actually, I'm not going to perform. I'm going to sell hmm. an opus. Selling this guy. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, this guy is going to be. So the selling is the bottom part. Mm hmm. I'm going to, it's going to cost me one story point, a black story point, but I'm going to gain one income and two victory points. But this is now gone out of the game. Yep. Uh, but I'm going to get two victory points for that. One, two. All right. And then my bottom card is right there. Your turn. Mm, expensive to get back up to London. Yeah. Very. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to do? Maybe I'll do another. Another performance. Another performance. And debating whether I want to perform or sell that mm -hmm. first bad opus. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's like I need the money, you know? Mm hmm. But, yeah, I'm just going to sell this. No. Um, did you pay your story point for selling your opus? Mm hmm You did? I used one of these. Oh, well, look at you. Mm hmm All right, I'm just going to perform it then. I'll get two more dollars. Oh, Why are you right. laughing at me? That's funny. What's so funny? Your indecision. I know. Well, it's it's tough. I'll tell you. This is like, it's a tricky puzzle to try and figure out what yeah. you want to do. Yeah, it is. When you've got, it's a lot of like thinking ahead and trying to conceptualize what you're going to have. I know. In the future. I just roll with it. Here you go. I'm gonna purchase it. You know this. what happens when I roll with it. I know. So it's gonna I end cost up doing me things that I can't afford. One, one black story point and three ducats. It's going to gain me three victory points. Did you take that from the end? Yep. Did you take your black story I'm taking point? it now. Okay. I'm covering it up so yeah. I didn't want to. I, didn't, I actually didn't finish what I was doing, but uh, I'm good now. Oh, well, I'm cleaning up for the, you know. I just need three victory points. That's all. Sure. While you're up there. While up there. Icky. One, two, three. Okay, you got it. Good? Yes. All right, so that's my whole turn. My leftover last card. Oh, and you have a leftover card. Mm-hmm. Great. That's As should you point. if you haven't cheated this round. Oh, I picked up my last one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a requiem. See, okay. this is called me flying by the seat of my pants. Okay. Because I feel like I can do this, Let's but I happens. might not be able to. So we might be walking this. So back. we have to rewind this turn. That's cool. Maybe we'll see. That's cool. Um, that's cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna do this. I think cause that's all, like all I can afford to do. I could do this one too. Mm-hmm. But I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I will pay two dollars. Hmm, that gives me one of anything I want. I'll pay $3. Hmm. And an ink mm -hmm. point, inkwell point. And I will pay Frey Stadler to 
to do this sequentia. Mm. This is Freestyler's and first this is contribution. First contribution. Show them how that works. Which yes. one are you taking from? I'm going to take from this one. Oh, he doesn't want trumpet, does he? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> well. Well, shoot. Okay. Well, I'll give him a timpani then. Timpani so drum. Bowl of ramen. Now, you notice it's the two. Yes, the two. The one. So that signifies that yes. composer. So now they are tied. Right now. No one has the majority. Now, you'll notice that but these are, get, yeah. I didn't talk about this. These are blocked off. So these are normally, you could fill these in on a higher player count, but in two players, mm -hmm. you, you basically choose one of these cards at random and it tells you exactly how to, what to cover. Yeah. For a two-player count. Exactly. And three, for two, three, and four players, it tells you what yep. should be covered. Now, um, because I have the this uh, bonus, yeah. I can, can do, do another here. Requiem action if I can pay for it. Yeah. And I can pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I will... One, two, three. I got three bucks, though. Mm. Who can I support with three dollars? Mm. Um... Freebie. I know. He's like... Or him. Yeah, but I, I don't want to put a one out there because I just put a two out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you that know? would be bad. I mean, it wouldn't be like the worst, but it would be better to just put another two out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I will do one of these, I guess, instead. Yeah, because I can't... Um, actually, I could do this. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll pay one of these. Oh, no, that brings me down. That's not what that I want. That brings your income down, yeah. Yeah, I want to bring my income down. It's <laughs> like the last thing I need. That's yeah, all of these are income. Yeah, I know. Two and two. All right, well, I'll just pay my ink pot and my and a dollar, dollar. for more Freight Statler. For more Freight Statler, I'm trying to turn time here. Turn back time, like share. Yeah. And what does he want? He wants trumpets. Mm -hmm. um, I'll take this trumpet because I want two dollars. Okay. And he'll go here. Boop. Mm. All right. All right. So that's that. Um, actually. No, that's how it. is this? How is that he possible? He only gets one because every every composer has a different amount of t tiles that, that they have associated with them. So in this case, Frey well, Sadler really silly. only has one. So that doesn't make sense. So give me my dollar back. Uh, that... If I were you, yeah, I would have played the top trumpet. That's what I'm... Yeah, exactly. That's well, Oh, then... keep this and play the top trumpet Correct. instead. Because the top trumpet gives you a, a, bonus. a neutral yeah, exactly. requiem it token works like this. to put... Yeah, so show So give me my two. No, here, I'll give no, you, you give this $2 me your two dollars back. Yes. back. All right, put this guy back. All right. So yes. So the bonus of using that top trumpet spot is that you get to obviously assign whichever composer you've picked, but you get this as extra, mm -hmm. and it doesn't count for you. So like, I won't get points for it, but I'm basically guaranteeing that he's going to win this section majority for that because first even if you were to come here and put one it doesn't Correct. matter if i were to put sustmeyer mm -hmm. here he's not exactly. going to have majority yeah sustmeyer's tokens are only going to be worth one point right exactly in this section of the yeah. Yep. or the lacrimosa <sighs> yeah okay Ooh. yeah we'll call uh, it the requiem. so you're good aye, now aye. yeah i'm good let me um let's see do i want to do some of this okay all right we're good so okay. let's let's begin the uh, the maintenance phase. Uh, story point tracks get zeroed out. Mm -hmm. Take count up your your income here two, so you can bring it back up. One and two one. plus and one. one from, and then you, if you have any oh, composer yeah, rewards, this one um, finances. Yeah, I got three dollars plus. Actually. I get to move up a track. Let's move up the travel track. I think we're gonna go that route because um, of that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, what's your income? Two. Oh, okay. Um, now we have the period bonus. So you're going to get another $4. Mm -hmm. Give me a dollar. I'll give you a five. Um, 
I'm going to gain two mm -hmm. because I only have one of those, so it's for every one of those performance. Um, so that was the period bonus and then cleanup. So let's pull our cards. Biggest thing to remember is do not shuffle that last card mm -hmm. yeah. into these. Exactly. Lest you be cheating. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So that should be good enough. Yeah, like even here. that is kind of part of the strategy because mm -hmm. you know, like, okay, I'm going to be first player next time. I want to travel. What am I carrying I'm over? Keep that card. Uh, so we'll do the map now. And the map, again, is any, any non gilded you flip and then bring out any filler. So it was only two. Yeah. Tiles filled mm -hmm. in this time. So he's still here. Um, these four are going, as well as the bonus tile. Did you bring this out just now? I did not, so flip it. These are going to go down, and then we're bringing out round three. We didn't take many cards that mm -mm. round. No. So we have a new bonus, which is... Um, Every time you do that action, you yeah. gain a red story token. Okay. Okay, so we are in the third. All right, cards are done. Pass the first player marker to you. Okay. And you are... And here go. we your, go. Draw up to four. Yep. Okay, so third era. Wow. Wow is right. Well. Well. Ugh. We gotta get traveling. Hmm. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna travel. But since this is one of my upgraded memories, mm -hmm. I actually get two dollars to start, so, so it's a little it bonus has an on the top. Income component. Yep, yeah. which is great. You need those. And then I'm going to travel, so I'm actually going to spend these two bucks mm -hmm. because I'm going to go to Paris. Well, Paris. Paris. All right, pay two. Now I'm going to pay two, but I only have one. Mm. So I'm going to pay one, plus I'm going to pay three dollars yes, for one. Exchange. So you can do exchange. Um, you can exchange a token for a board, dollar, show. or you can pay three dollars for a token of any kind that you can then spend. So I will do that. Didn't I give you three? You did? No. I gave you three. Okay. Um, oh, you thought I gave you I my you five. you gave me a five. Yeah, yeah, so I get to take this. Um, and I get one of the uh, Inkwell tokens mm -hmm. for that. And that's end game points if you're able to put a Requiem token in all of those spots. Yes, exactly. All right, so. I need to do my bottom. Board. Oh, here? So above board? Yeah, Just keep, it, ab it, above keep it above board. board. <laughs> you know how that is. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yikes. So your bottom. Soggy your bottom. Bo soggy bottom. Soggy bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, there's a soggy bottom. If you all watch the uh, Great, Great American, British, yeah, Great Great British, British Bake, Bake Off, baking show, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's not called Bake Off anymore. Show by many names. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a Requiem. Requiem. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. Um, that's not really good. So. Just really, I have a lot of options here, but I don't really love mm. love my options. I do like this one. That's seven dollars, oh man! Who's got seven? Who's got seven dollars? That's expensive. This guy's very expensive. Number one. Mm. Um, yeah, this Sudemeyer is. Whew. His name's Susmeyer. Well, oh, this Susmeyer. That's got the the big S in it. The big S. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> the like, thing that looks like a B. It's, a, yeah. it's like a German S. It's like a Hmm. It's like a hard S. S All right. Yeah. Well, I am really trying to figure out what the best move is then. Mm. As we usually are in these types of games. Yeah, so let's take a look. <laughs> I, I kind of want to contribute here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to then 
I'm going to contribute. Contribute. And what will be your contribution? Mm. I'm going to do this Agnes Day. Okay. Su Sudemeyer. So it's going to cost me two story points, two coins, one income. Hmm. But it's going to give me this double up action like you have. I'm going to take. Mm. Um, oh, it's a trumpet? Yeah. So I, mm. I took it from here, right? Yeah, I can't use that one. Yeah. No trumpets. What can I use? Uh, timpani or the organ? I'll go timpani. Mm. I'll go organ. Doesn't really matter. Get one victory point for that one. For your organ? Mm hmm. You good? Yeah, that's that's the best I can do. Mm. Don't love it, but I know that's a, a lot. I think like a lot of my moves, I'm like, ugh, like I don't love it, but but it is. What but it is. is what it is. It'll okay. work out. Your turn. It's a lot of little things. Yeah. A lot of little moves. <sighs> um. Okay, I think I'm going to go, I think I need to do a performance. Hmm. I'm like so out of <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Um, all right, I'm just gonna do this. I'll do a performance. I'm performing. What are you performing? Ugh. Something that's gonna get me some moolah. Uh, perform this again. Get three dollars. Three dollars? Mm-hmm. All right. So be it. Here's your three dollars. Thanks. Uh, I'm also gonna do a performance. Ugh. Perform this guy. He's gonna cost me one. Oh, and I have to pay this too. One black. One of those. And that's gonna give me four dollars. And I shall put this under here. Here you go. Mm, that's like my plan keeps changing mm -hmm. <laughs> as well. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna write mm -hmm. opus. So you're gonna hire for two, an opus for two opus points. Mm. <laughs> two, two story Which points. Which one are you taking? That right one. All right, so it was two and four dollars. So I'll take a dollar. Four ducats. And that's five points. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's the Sancta Maria Matter Day. Yes, that is good. Look at me and my choir music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, boy. All right. So I'm gonna do another requiem. And this one's gonna cost me seven dollars plus one of these and one mm. income. So my income's hurting. But certain things need to get done. It's gonna be four points. Oh, you did the seven dollar one. I did. Ay, ay, ay. Four points. We're gonna horn this bad boy. Okay. 
horn and we'll do wow okay i see what you did mm -hmm. that's a lot uh, what are you looking at my board to see what i can't you looked at my board to see what i can't contribute mm -hmm. that's messed up hey well you have to <laughs> Come on, I'm going to look at your board and see what you can't contribute. <laughs> of course, you're supposed to look at my board to see what I can't contribute. Mm, I got enough to think about. I, know. <laughs> I can't think about how to screw you over. <laughs> What's that about how to screw you over? It's like, how do I guarantee I, I'm, I'm going to get... I'm just giving you a hard time. How do I guarantee? Because I know that giving you a hard time about giving me a hard time yeah, gives you an even harder time. It does give me a hard time. <laughs> Oh my goodness indeed. gracious. I'm like I don't even broke. know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm like so broke. I'm like broke as a joke. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I'm in big time broke trouble. So we're in a third round, so you can just get money. Um yeah, I can. I mean I can do stuff too. I'm just thinking about what I want to do. That'll be m most beneficial. Because mm -hmm. I like to contribute to these things, but I'm a little bit. I'm not like. That's just very expensive now. $8? Mm -hmm. hmm. Like, whoa. Yeah, um, they get more expensive as you go down the pile. Clearly, yeah. Yeah, I don't even have, I don't have timpanies left, and that's all that needs to be placed on the board. That's not good. Yeah, like, I'm in a position now where I can't even contribute to that anymore. You know? Mm-hmm. Interesting. But I don't want to spend, like, all my money. Okay, let's do this. Well, let's see how this works out. Yeah, we'll do a requiem. I will pay four dollars. That's all my money. Four bucks. There you go. And two ink pots mm -hmm. to do. This one. Okay. Seuss Meyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this is every time I perform that. The um, prayer song. I get two points. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. Um, I think it might also, you might also score when you commission it. Too. Yeah. It's like when you commission it or like when you interact with that type mm -hmm. of, of opus. Um, and it doesn't matter if I'm getting opus. many of these Mr. Holland's opus. All right, so I'll go there. And that was Seuss Myers. That's going to be a boop violin. Yeah. Mm. All right. And then we'll do one of these. Uh, we'll do one of these. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, so I'm just going to put this guy down here. And it doesn't really matter if I... Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll put this guy up here. What this is, though, I'm going to not do the action. I'm just going to take coins for the round. It's three. It's round three, so I'm going to get three coins. Mm -hmm. No action. Okay. So that's it. So now we're going to do the uh, story point track. It's tracks. actually the fourth round. Oh, the, yeah, it is the third. So yeah, clear, right. your, clear your points. Yep. I couldn't do Give anything because I had no money. Two. It's one, two. two. That's one. And then one. two of these. And then we both have one of these. pick your own, right? What's that? There you go. We have this bonus. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so these get refreshed. Uh, finances, I get $1. $2. And then we get the period bonus. I didn't do any of those. Neither did you. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> nope. And then there's cleanup. So get your cards. 
I'm like not a very good patron, I don't think. No, I haven't been <laughs> This is very difficult. Ooh, whoops. Clean up and then we'll go jump to the map and do all that. Draw my cards up. You get the tuning fork. One, two, three, four. Tuning fork. Let's go to the board. Get rid of these. And this guy. And all of these are going. Did you flip these yet? Nope. Okay. These are going to the end. Did not bring those out yet. The new tiles. Okay. So we are getting a reward for carriages again. One, two, three, and four. Is this is the last round? Nope. No. Five oh, rounds. you took it. Okay. Second to last round. Yes, okay. So I think we are set. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Um, you're up first. I know. I'm looking. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm looking. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to see what what's worth doing, mm. if anything. Hmm. One, two, three. Gives me that. Yeah, I can't even do that, so it's not even worth it. Okay. Let's let's grab us an opus. Mr. Holland's opus. What's the cheapest on the table? We have a three? Oh yeah, I like that one. Which one? It's five bucks. Mm. Three mm -hmm. black tokens and five bucks. I don't even have five bucks. <laughs> yeah. So that, that one's four bucks and two black tokens. That's not bad. Oh, that's two black tokens and five bucks. Mm. <laughs> Can you trade? What could you trade for money? One token? So it's a disc, not a not one of these tokens, but yeah, a disc. I can do that. I'll trade us this red disc for a dollar. That'll okay. give me five bucks. You can take that one. Yeah. Um. Actually, no. I only want four dollars. Okay. I don't want that one. I'm you gonna want take that, that back. I want this one. Okay. Um, because it's only four dollars and two tokens. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that. And that's gonna get me four victory points. Boom, mm. boom, boom, boom. Oh wow. These cards are powerful. Yikes, yeah. Oof, okay. So I will drop this down here. Your turn. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy. Yikes, man. Mm. Two rounds after this? Or this, is this is one more round, one after, more round this. after this. That's oh, it. it's not enough rounds. No. Oh, can I just not travel and just take that? Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? No. How does that work? Sorry. Are you sure? Yep. Hmm. Do not love this. <laughs> just so you know. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the situation. I do not love the situation. The <laughs> sitch. The sitch where I find myself. Hmm. You don't like the sitch. Yeah, money, okay. Money interesting. Is tough to come by. This is like going to be really weird. Hmm? I'm going to do a weird thing. Okay. So be Let's prepared. See <laughs> be prepared for some weird stuff. What are you doing? I'm going to go here. I'm going to get $2, but I'm going to okay. spend this $2 immediately okay. to travel. Right there. I'm going to spend a story mm -hmm. point travel. To get three. To get three ink. And a coin. Blobs and a coin. And a point. And a point. Okay. That's it. Why was that weird? What? Why was that weird? Um, well, because it's part of a plan that I have that's yeah. weird. Well. Well. Okay. Well, let so me tell you. Go ahead and play that. your bottom card while I go do a requiem. Yeah, please go do a requiem. Actually, please don't do a requiem. Yeah. So, you actually got to take this. And take I'm going to take it. I'm yeah. going to take it back. Take it off the take board. Take it back. 
You gave me um, my point. What? You gave me my point. I did. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do my requiem. My requiem down here. I'll pay one white and just grab this guy. Um, what's left? The kettle drum. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna give me two of these white tokens. Mm. As the reward, I'll do my kettle drum. That will give me a third white token. Wow. Ink pots. Earl W. Potts the third. Okay, so what do we have now? That was number one, right? Mm -hmm. Here, not the majority, but. Hmm. Why wouldn't you do? Oh, because you couldn't afford the other one. Nope. Okay. Not that I couldn't afford it. I wanted that one. I now I could do another one. Mm -hmm. You could. If I so choose. Do you so choose? I do actually. I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to go. What do I have? Violins. I'll go here. I'll go here. That's five dollars, man. What? They're both five. Maybe I'll go here, but I can't. I'm gonna have kettle drums or pipe organs. Mm-hmm. So I have to go here. It's the only place I can go. Violins. They're both five dollars. So I'm gonna go with Freustetler. <laughs> right? Is that his name, <laughs> Freustetler? Sure. None of those vowels are in that name. Oh. <laughs> But he's $5. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. He's Maybe famous. I'll go with this one then. Okay. He's $5. So okay. I can I can do two of those things, and I'm going to do one, two. Look at this. Three, four, five. <laughs> five tokens for $5. Yes. How about that? That's good. Um, and that'll just get me those bad victory points later. But I'll put it up here on the horn section. This was a, uh, a two, right? Sudemeyer? Or is he a one? What? Sudemeyer is the he's one. He's the right? one. It's going to be in the horn section, which will earn me $2. Okay. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I need to draw more cards is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here trying to like, what do I do? I know what I need to do. I'm a day late and a dollar short, that's for sure. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, I'm performing an opus. Okay. Yeah, which one? This one, my three dollar opus. This is like my best performing opus. Was that earning you three bucks? Three dollars. Okay. At the cost of no no heads, no, no story, story points. points. Okay. Okay. All right, your turn. Uh, yeah, put your bottom card on. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to travel. Road less traveled. So, Mozart and I have an appointment in Mayland down here for one ducat. Travel cost, one travel story point. And we are going to perform or sell, and I'm going to sell my opus. The D. Alfenburg aus dem Saril has been sold. Sorry it's to all the Germans. Oh, well, no, this actually I can't sell. I'll have to perform. I, I have to perform. Mm. Okay, good. Well, that stinks because I, don't, I just don't have the story points. Uh, I'll perform it for $2. $2, but I also get a dollar and a victory point for doing this. Boom. And I shall do this. All right, your turn. It's like out of everything now. I know, right? I feel like I should be more resource rich than I am, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm gonna do a requiem, and I will. Uh, this is so freaking expensive, but it's like I have to do it. <clears throat> Pipes down here. Mm -hmm. Number one, one ink blot, one ink well. Eight dollars. Mm. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, and one income. And one income. For four points. Yeah. And that's gonna oh and that's gonna have to be this, so one more point. Yeah, you don't have a choice. And for my bottom card, we will do Mm. 
about what I want to do. I'll do this because I've got no money to write any more opuses anyway. <laughs> right? Mm hmm Okay. We're All in round right. four, right? We are. So do I have enough cash? I don't have cash to do anything. Yeah, I have zero cash. So I'm going to have to just... I might as well just, because it's better off to just like I could perform and earn two dollars. Yeah, like or why I would just... I? Why would I perform? Like I did that too. I was like, I'll perform for three dollars. Yeah, it's not. But worth I should have just taken the four dollars. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. But it's like technically, you can perform an action. So like you should have. Right, to but do I'm going to take the four dollars. You know what I no, mean? No, it's a, it's option. The op the um, the action is always optional. Because sometimes it's just not in your best interest to do it. It's really not, yeah. Like, this is not in my best interest. Um, all right, I'm going to perform as well. But I'm just going to sell this opus. Hmm. Oh, I can't. Well, I can. I can. So I'll bump my funding and pay one of those. Hmm. That's it. Wow. There you go. Wow. 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 wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let us begin. Story point track zero amount. Mm -hmm. And bring out your resources. I've got and two, I've got two, one and one. White. Wow. I've got so many of those. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah. And I will. Not good at all. Do one. Finances, I get a do whole dollar. I should have actually sold this one instead, yeah. like one of these. Yeah, a lot of things I should have done too. You know? I'm just saying, I'm not I saying know. I'm taking it back. I'm just I know. saying, like, I'm just, for the I made a for lot anybody of, who cares. A lot of mistakes already. Mistakes, I can say. mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, for sure. Yeah. All right. So I got one, two, three, four, and we are gonna do. So that's all the cleanup. You got your board all set. Yep. All right. And uh, let's go and take care of the map. Two more of these. Uh, nothing else gets flipped. We're mm -hmm. going to go here. We're gonna pull these off. Um, I what did a carriage, so I do get one of these black tokens. Forgot to take mm, it. Yeah. The era rewards. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's gonna go along with the rest of the fours off the board. Those are the fives, right? Yep. Yeah, well, I'm gonna pull these as well. The last four. Uh, victory point for yes. however many times you get these opuses. Last round. Hmm. Wow, these are big. Mm hmm. The, the tier five opuses. Yes. It's like all opuses. Yeah. Which makes sense. All right. Ouch. There you go. <laughs> Great. <laughs> all right. Take it away. All right. Final here we round. Go. What are you doing? Here we go. Um, I'm going to get $2 and mm -hmm. I'm going to travel. Okay. Oh, and here's my $2 from before. Here's your two dollars. Mm, and so where I'm gonna are you go. One, two. It's gonna cost three dollars. Three dollars. And two travel story points. Two travel story points. Oop. But I get this. That. And what does it earn you? Points. Um right? points for having one and two of these guys. Oh, let me see. You oh, also at the get, top. Yeah, yeah, you get this, yeah. you get a dollar, and you get a victory point. I do, you're yeah. right. Thank you. Good call. Um, all right. All right. And so the bottom. Bottom part. I'm gonna do a requiem my final commission for this guy for this clown <laughs> um, probably gonna use this all right so I have to use my last thing is a violin the only violin is right here it's gonna mm. cost me two whites no. yeah and five dollars wow. five ducats and this is gonna go here uh, but it's 
this guy. Mm. Freistedler. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's going to earn me a black story token. But anytime I interact with that type of... I don't know what this one is. It's like... That's oh, the, that's the... Um, it's this one with the chairs. Yeah, like what is that though? That's like a certain area. Like there's opera, there's... Yeah, there's like choir music. Choir music. Symphony. This is like inside a room. Yeah, it's like a hall. Yeah. Musical type of thing. Uh, but that's it. That was my turn. Okay. I could do another one if I could afford it, but I don't have any more things. So and out. we don't have any more spots that left that are open to that. You're right. Like you don't have any more things. No, I'm out of them. Yeah, and unfortunately our Requiem has no more need for violinists or... <laughs> no, they're no, like, we, we're done with that. We need more, we need more, more trombone. Balls. More cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I guess... Yikes. Wow, they're super expensive. They're, Did you see the cost so of these? They're expensive. I know. I know. That's no joke. What can I get? What can I get for five bucks? Oh, that's like so many heads. So many story heads. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> wow, they're so expensive. It's silly. Um, I can't even with that. I know. That one's really good, though. It gives you so many things. Especially if you sell it. Yeah. Mm. It's like at this point in the game, it's like, it's like okay, I'm going to move to try to get more discs so mm -hmm. then I can use those as dollars, but it's going to cost me the dollars to get the dollars. Mm -hmm. And you end up like exactly where Back you where started. You <laughs> yeah. So that being said, I am just going to, I'm just going to do this to start doing my performance and I'm going to perform actually I'm going to sell my this one mm -hmm. um, which is going to give me I'm going to have to pay one of these just three victory points three victory points but because it's on one of these prayer songs yep. I get an extra two for my offertorium All right. thing bonus very good very good Six, five. wow it's so expensive. oh and I need a bottom card here I'm gonna have to perform. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but it's like, what? It's like I don't even want to perform. Why? Because I just want to freaking take the money. I know. I don't. I just don't feel like you should actually be able to do that oh. unless you're truly out of actions. Well, it's it's optional. <laughs> if you don't want to take the action, that's what book says. Your turn. Mm, okay. Because I mean, I'm giving up an action. Well, no, I get it. Right? Yeah. Like, just for money. Like, it's just a funding. For the money. Yeah, it's all about the money. It's all about the ducats. <laughs> You're all about the ducats. I am. I need the ducats. Um, Mr. Ducket. <laughs> Mr. Ducket. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, it can be funny sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This one. <clears throat> so here's my question. Mm -hmm. So I get my bonuses. Yeah, I get, get my one, wheel, my one wagon, $2. and my two Duckets. dollars. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then I can choose not to take that action. You're saying, right? No. It's either the so. whole card. Is this? Oh, is that what the book's? Yeah, the book it says it like? says it right here. Oh yeah, it says it right there. The whole top you ignore all of it. So you do don't, I have you, to? You you can that? skip the action. Can you can say it, I'm right? not doing yeah, it. I don't yep. want the money. Yeah, the actions are. It says in the really book the actions really you may uh, take this actually, action. Like, do you want to buy one of those cards up there? I mean, they don't really do anything for you right now. It's going to sit in your. No, it's going to sit there. Yeah. I don't really want to. I'd rather not. So then, don't do anything. Just put your bottom card in. And we'll call it a day. Yeah. All right. Ugh, yikes. It's like at a certain stage, it's, it's not, not worth getting those. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a, I'm going <laughs> to commission an opus. Ooh, okay. Mr. Holland's opus. Are you? Actually. Yeah, so this is seven ducats. And one, two, three. 
black story points for this guy. And he's going to earn me six points plus one because this is a bonus on my composer. So it's seven points for this card. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot of points. That's good. Uh, let's put a card on the bottom. And it's your turn. Mm, the last turn. The last turn of the your game. Last turn. I hope it's worth it to you. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it's not really worth I was going to buy one of those cards up there, but I don't have enough turns to actually like buy the card and then sell it again. Mm. And I wouldn't have enough of those little story points anyway. So what I'll do, it's nice and easy. Um, I'll just... Yeah, because I don't have any of those either. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to perform oh, again. Sorry. Gotta move I'll this. slide this down. Not that um, it matters. Oh, look at that. It's a blank card. Just, just earn $4. Straight up points. Oh, four, uh, four points. Yeah. yeah. Like, I guess they're tier fives. Why not, right? Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to perform again, but I'm just selling this okay. second one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Five points. Three for the selling and... Yeah. Two for this mm -hmm. bonus. That's probably the best I could do. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm selling the opus I just commissioned. Nice. Why not? Yeah, that's what you should do. So, selling this, it's going to be... Do you have Oh, the I heads? don't have the two things. Ouch, mm. I don't have any heads. Ugh, yikes. I can't do any I of that. Do that. I can't even do this move. Yeah, I always forget that there you have to pay the little strike points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do any of these moves. Um, ooh. Can't buy a card. I could buy a card. Actually, I'll just do that. It really doesn't matter. I'll put this guy here. Pick up a card. I don't know why it's going to... It's not really going to do anything for me. Mm. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know what? I'm not. I'm going to just do this. Put this in, and I'll just I'll take, get you a point. take my five dollars. Yeah, get get my point, mm -hmm. and then call it a day. Okay. All right. So. Get your five dollars. Yeah, I'm getting my five. <laughs> getting my five. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference, but all right. Okay. So now we got to do the whole cleanup. But you oh did, no! What'd you do? I'm such an idiot. What happened? <laughs> it's fine. It's everything's fine. What didn't you do? I sold my oh, open Oh, for your reward. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, but again, but it's like that would have given me four points, but yeah. I made five points so, by selling yeah. it. So it's like Let me have the the book, please. I want to kind of go through the <laughs> end game scoring yes, bit because we're at end game now. Yes, like, this is it. Are, so I just want to make sure we capture everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's great. <sighs> uh, okay, so end of the game, right? So once we completed the fifth round of the game. Uh, finishing the personal board step of the maintenance phase, carry the final. So the yes. personal board step is to clear, erase these, mm -hmm. bring them back up. One, two, one. one. Actually, let me swap this out. One, two. This should be a one. Eh, it doesn't really and matter. I can do another one there. One, two, one, one, and then I get one extra one of these. All right. And then our money. Uh, I get a dollar. What do you get? Two. two. There's two. There's a dollar. All right. So all right, check the conditions of the royal court tiles you obtained and um, see if you fulfill them. Now, the way these work is basically you can only apply one opus requiem uh, marker to each symbol. Right. Exactly. So I can't, like, if I had multiples of this mm -hmm. type of thing, I couldn't score it multiple times. Right. Unless I had multiple of those Like you'd out. need two violins, one for each card, Exactly, basically. exactly. Yeah. So I know I made that mm -hmm. for sure. I put everything on. Yeah. So I'm going to get five points for that. Okay. And I just had to have one and one and one and five. So that's a trumpet. Um, and this is, I guess I, I don't know if I can. I should be able to, to use that as well. As long as I have presence in five and one, I, I think, think so. it should matter, yeah, right? I so that's so. nine points. Yeah, it's It's not just like these it's particular specific Exactly, ones. right. Because you're li that's part of the strategy because yeah. you're limited in how many instruments you have exactly. and how many spaces are available. So, so I got 38, okay. point, uh, 38 points. I guess nine points for all that, all right. five and four. So what about yours? Um, I am not going to get four points for right, that. But, you get the <laughs> but eight. I do get the eight. So we're tied right now, 38. Yes. Um, so those were the, the royal court tiles. 
So they're scored. Now we scored the Requiem. Yep. And this is just... Yes. So zoom in on the it. Requiem and we'll explain um, how this works. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So let me zoom in on the Requiem. Okay. So again, we are not looking for a majority between the two of us. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of why this gets confusing. Because that's what usually we're looking for like an area control type of thing. That's yep. not what's happening. We're actually looking for control based on these two composers. Which composer contributed more? So Frey Stadler con contributed more here. Mm -hmm. So the players who contributed Frey Stadler are going to get three points. Per and token. Per token. Of him. And Seuss Meyer is going to award... One. one. So I'm going to so give I'm you gonna three. Get three. One, You're gonna two, get one. three, and I get one. All right. So move Same on the here. We have a tie. Mm -hmm. So they're going to give each two points. So they're both going to get both the lower value. Both get the lower value of right. the tie. So, so we'll get two each. Get one, two, one, two. Okay. We'll show you the score in a moment. Down here we have um, who won? Seuss Meyer. It's going to award three points mm -hmm. to each of us. So I get, and you're also going to get one. So you get so one, I get two, three, three get I get four. One, two, three, four. Okay. okay. Here. You're going to get 12 points mm -hmm. to my Seuss six. Meyer wins this by yeah. fall. So I get 12 to your six. One, two, three, four. I know. Yeah. Okay. Five, five six. six. And I get 12. So that's seven. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay. And then here. Um, Again. We're both going to get three. One point. No. Because yeah. we are tied. The tie gets the lower. He, no, no, no. Oh. We are tied, but oh. they are not tied. Oh, okay. So he still won. Seuss Meyer still wins. You're right. You're right. We each right. get three. Get three. That's where this That's is. That's why I get confusing. confusing. One, two, three. It's two, even more three. confusing when you use the uh, the uh, composers <laughs> the that are and the same composer. color as <laughs> the players. Then yeah. so flip your. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing. Yeah. There we go. When you flip yeah, fifty, neat. those things pop. Yeah. Flip so hundred. Look at it. Yeah. So those things in the books. That flip. didn't happen. <laughs> no, we did not flip the hundred. So we didn't score that high. Yeah. Um. Now we get money for so that's so that is scoring the requiem. Mm-hmm. And now uh, you get one victory point for every two story points you still have. Okay. So I've got two, four, five. So I'm going to get two points. Wait, so one, two, three, four, five. I will also get two points. Yeah, so we each get two. One, two, one, two. And then we get money. One point for every three ducats you have. Oh, well, what about my discs? Those count towards oh, that. Oh, I didn't count that. I get one more. Eight. So you get two more points. Okay. And now you get uh, one for every three. Two points. And I get two points. And that's it. Wow, close. That's the game, folks. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. <sighs> so let's go talk about it. All right, there you have it. Lacrimosa. I'm exhausted. No, it's Constance. A, it's a brain burner. It owes us well, yeah, at least some tea or yeah. something. <laughs> Um, we definitely uh, put in the hours on that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so mm. I need to take a drink. Mm. Yes. So uh, as you saw, there are a whole host of um, of things you can do. Yeah, with this I'm game, like, right? where do we even start? Yeah, with I don't this? even know where to begin <laughs> with this. So um, <clears throat> let's start with our with our usual. I kind of want to talk with expectations, mm. and then we can kind of talk through the components and all of that stuff as we talk about okay. our expectations and experience with the game. So, right. So. Personally, um, coming into this game, I yeah. I was interested in the fact that it was in a theme that was way outside of the norm. Yeah. I love historical themes. Mm -hmm. uh, historical composer theme really hooked me um, on that alone. Yeah. The look of the game, beautiful. Art's mm -hmm. well done. The components are, are top notch. Um, so all in, I was I came in with pretty high expectations. Yes. How about you? Yeah, me too. Same thing. Okay. Um, I think that my I had um, an interesting journey with this game because mm -hmm. I was obviously excited about it at first. We get it in, set it up. I'm immediately like hooked on dual use cards mm -hmm. and the fact that we're deciding which part of the card to use. That's like an easy win for me. Right. Um, I, like you said, the components and all of that stuff obviously was like, oh, this is great. Um, and then as we were as we were learning it, I struggled a little bit understanding what we were doing thematically. Mm -hmm. So I was like a little bit of a hard road there until I kind of figured it out. And then we played it for the first time. And as we're getting going, I'm like, this is pretty easy. Like it was very, once you understand the iconography and everything, mm -hmm. it's actually very simple to understand what you can do on your turn because you're kind of limited, mm -hmm. right? So you've got four cards in your hand and you're picking two things kind of to do. Um, so, but, so it was like, okay, this is easy. But then 
as you actually start to understand the game and understand the strategy and try to maximize your turns, all of a sudden you move from learning the game and just kind of taking actions and seeing what happens mm -hmm. to really caring about what you're doing. And then it becomes extremely difficult. Yes. <laughs> um, so the journey for this one for me was really cool because I wasn't expecting that. And I've yep. been looking for that for a long time. Okay. So. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I went from <laughs> excited mm -hmm. to confused <laughs> to concerned <laughs> to excited again and then satisfied. There you go. So it was a it, it was, was a roller journey. coaster because again, like theme is really exciting. Mm -hmm. You read the rule book and you're like, what are yeah. you talking about? Right. So granted, the rule book's not bad, mm -hmm. but it's not that good either. I, At I, least from my perspective, right? Because yeah. there's a certain way rule books flow mm -hmm. that work for me. Yeah. This rule book, when they start putting bits and pieces throughout the rule book that cover the same mechanic or component. Right, yeah. And each section tells you a little bit more about it, mm -hmm. but only one section tells you exactly what you need to know about it. I have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. I want it all in one section. Right. This is what this tile does. This is what this icon means. This is when it comes up in the game. Mm -hmm. Boom. Next thing. Like, right. And that's not how this book is structured. And see, I'm a little bit different because when I first read through the rule book, I was like, I love this rule book. Mm. Because for me, I like to know what's the overview. Yeah. Like, what am I looking at? Okay, now let's, like, how does the turn structure work? I can identify this is an important piece, this is an important piece, this is an important piece. Now let me go learn more about that now that I have the context. Mm. So for me, it was actually... So it worked for you It better. worked for me. Yeah. Um, but that's just, that's a difference in how we learn things. How so, we learn things. Yeah. yeah. From my perspective, it wasn't it, it wasn't easy for me to comprehend mm. this rule book. You know why? Easy. Because it, this goes back to how we learn games too. I read the rule book cover to cover. Mm. So for me, I sit down in one sitting and I read the whole thing, mm. right? But you like to set up the game, play through a little bit. So as you're trying to do that, you're playing, having to flip through because you haven't read the entire right. thing yet. I'm referencing yeah. and then it's hard. For, when I have trouble finding what I'm referencing yeah. is where I get frustrated right. with the rule book. And this rule book is not set up in that way. Yeah. So read it first, mm -hmm. then play, then read it again. Yes. So I set it up and play. I reference the rules. I finish the play. Mm -hmm. I go read the rule book at Again. that point. Yeah. And that's when it started to click. Yeah. When I read it the second time. And then when we played a full play, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this is it. And then once the iconography starts to sink, because this game is 100% yes. iconography. So if yeah. you are not good at remembering what icons mean what, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. Because right. they're, and, and it's intentional because it's a multi language game. Yeah, it's language independent. And there are, to, to the, the extent, point where yeah, I'll show you show my player board. board. It's really cool. This insert, this little like cardboard piece, you, you put into your player board mm -hmm. and it's in English. There are pieces in like four different languages. Mm -hmm. So you find the one for your language and you slot it in your board. And now this player board is English. Exactly. Right? So that, right. to me, that's really ingenious mm -hmm. because it saves on production. You know, they, they give you all the rule books for all the languages, all the inserts for all the languages. Boom, you're fine. None of the cards have real language on them. Yep. That matter. It's all yeah, it's, icons. Yeah, it's the names of the the works, but that's yeah, it. But that's yeah. it. So it's very, um, you know, neutral language, yes. which is great. I understand that I, from a production perspective. So it's really ingenious. I, I yeah. like that. But again, it's because of that, it's heavily dependent on iconography. So you've got to really study that before mm -hmm. you play. And that's what, where it'll slow you down at first. But yeah. as you learn it, there are only a few actions you can do mm -hmm. on your turn, right? Right. And we, and we figure that. It's that typical, and like I said, I was kind of, I've been looking for this because it's like, I feel like a lot of the games that have come out recently haven't felt like that, um, that like old school Euro mm -hmm. type of thing where it's like you've limited actions, limited turns, turn resources into this, like try to find a way to do what you need to do in a in the best way possible. Um, know that you're gonna screw up, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, it, and, just, and it just have that like brain burning experience. Yeah. And without getting sidetracked by like theme mm -hmm. too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, a good, a sign of a good Euro from, mm -hmm. from our perspective is you should always feel broke. Yeah. And you should always want to do five different things that you can't do. Yes. 
<laughs> and you should always be like, I'll get to it next time. And then when you finally have the resource, you're like, hmm, maybe I don't want to do maybe that. Maybe I now. want to do something else. Maybe I want to go do this, right? Yeah. Like to me, that's that is the sign of a good game because it yeah. keeps you going and you never ever feel satisfied yeah. with the engine you've built because you're always like one turn away from being able right. to do everything you want. Right. And then when you get closer to it, you change your mind and then you go for a bigger goal. Right. And you're constantly doing it and then the game ends and you're like, oh. Yeah, I and then all you want to do is set it up and play the game. Yeah, that... Because you're like, I messed up. Now, I will yeah. say, I, the only thing that I would, I would probably edit on that is that I do like setting up a good engine and I like feeling satisfied with mm -hmm. my engine. Um, this is not an engine builder, no. really. Um, you are, I mean, you're... It's a deck builder. You're really building engine. your deck. Yeah. And I think this game, I tried to go more for like, I tried to buy better cards earlier on, mm. but then I realized I didn't really use them as much. So I think that there's like a lot of paths potentially to victory. Like there's a lot of ways to scoop points mm -hmm. in this game. And you kind of have to commit a little bit to one of those tracks. You, you can't do. try to do everything. Yeah. Um, I found, I want to talk about this Requiem piece for mm -hmm. a minute because you heard us try to explain this to you over the course of the playthrough. <laughs> and it is a little bit difficult to grasp, but it's pretty ingenious mm. the way that it works because it is kind of like an area control thing, but you're sort of doing um, area control on behalf of the composers. Yep. So you have to keep that in the back of your mind that this is not a me versus you mm -hmm. situation. It could be if you're putting out all composer one tokens and I'm putting out composer two tokens trying to scoop up points. Yep. But it's really behoove us to like figure out which ones, which composer we want to win mm -hmm. <laughs> and then try to maybe like beat each other out of the of the actual instruments that are required. It's a little tricky, I guess, in a two-player game because these are already filled in. Mm -hmm. They don't get filled in as you play. So if they're filled in with things that, like, like in my case, I was left with, like, well, I can't do anything with anything that I have left. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, it could get a little frustrating, but as you can see, it didn't really affect the balance at all. No, it, it actually probably kept it balanced. So it does. Yeah, yeah, um, I would agree. So it's then... interesting though in, in the strategy there because you got to think about: can I afford it? Do I have the music instrument for it? Yeah. And do I want the bonus that that musical instrument provides? And do I want the bonus that the composer provides? Mm -hmm. It's just a lot to think about. It's a ton. Yeah. Um, you know, so I I would say that if you are um, if you're AP prone, this could this could this hurt. could take a while. This one could hurt you. But um, but you I think it's it just to keep playing it over and over and over. I yeah. guess. So. <laughs> I guess the uh, the TLDR on that. Yeah, is, right. Um, we had high hopes to begin with. We got a little concerned part way through, um, and I ended up I ended up really liking this one. Uh, I enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, we heard mixed things about it. Um, mm -hmm. People were very excited about it, and then people were like, ah, "I really didn't like it." Um, I think there's a lot of a lot of meat to this game. There is a lot that. Yeah. I guess on the surface it may not seem like there is, mm -hmm. but there definitely is, and I think that. You know, our scores only being in the 50s. I was like, the fact that there's a 100 point yeah, score. Yeah, like the fact token. that we're around 60 means that we're yeah. not even near optimizing how we play this right. game yet. Yeah. And um, so it means there's a lot more, there are a lot more legs on this that we need to figure out. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it does play, like, the more we play this, the uh -huh. faster it will play. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Because yeah, you yeah, know sure. what you want to do. It's out on the board. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang, bang. Once you get, because the iconography is there. Yeah. Again, you only have like five actions you can right. do on your turn, and some of them spread out, but they're not any different. Once you learn them all, mm -hmm. you could draft one of the two cards. Well, you could travel, say, and or you, you could know do the what's Requiem. you know what's in your um, in your deck too, and that's yeah. a piece that we didn't talk about was like this whole replacing the cards in your deck. Yeah, which you have to be very careful about, by the way, too, because if you replace like all of one of your actions, yeah, if you replace this one, and you don't have done. any of these left. <laughs> Unless it comes out on a city exactly, tile, right. you're not getting back out there. Right. So you have to also like remember what's in your deck and and everything. It's a lot. It's a lot to remember. Yeah. So, so you got to be careful about. It's not any. It's not like your normal deck builder where you can just go out and buy any card you want. Right. You have to have a specific action to go do it. Yeah. If you don't have those actions anymore, yeah. It's kind of like Rococo in a sense where I was say, if you get rid like of that. your. Mm -hmm. uh, your, your tailor, your tailor, the one who can recruit. Yeah, like and they tell you in the rules, like don't do this yeah. because if you do this, you can't yeah. go recruit anybody else and you're done. Mm -hmm. Like your game is, you're pretty much gonna lose. Yeah, I would say I was gonna say kind of. I, I think that this to me felt heavier than Rococo, 
but maybe because we've played Rococo so many times. Yeah, we, we're just not. comfortable with Rococo, but, it, but Rococo's got a lot the, more going on. It's, yeah. a, it's in the same vein to me, though. It, thematically, like, it feels same era-ish. Well, maybe? I would say, I no, because this honestly reminds me of, like, the fireworks show in Rococo. Kind of, yeah, yeah, It's yeah, kind of yeah. like, like that finale. sort of finale. I want to have, it's more of an area control. I want to have majority personally. Right. But you are also, like, beefing up the different sections of the hall, kind mm. of. To, in order to like get more points, so I don't know. I feel like if you liked that one, you'd probably right. like, like this these, one too. Right, and like these, the opuses could be the dresses where yeah. you could either rent it out. It's definitely or you not like a one it. for one, but I'm I'm saying just it, there's similarities how it feels there. to yeah. me. And I think, I think part of it could be theme. There. Part of it is the deck yeah. builder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Like because your deck is your actions, the mm -hmm. same as in Rococo, your deck is your action. So mm -hmm. I can see the similarities there for sure. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I think. I enjoyed it. Yes, I, I did too. A lot. I really, uh, really like this one, and I was honestly, expectations wise, I was actually surprised. This exceeded my expectations. Yeah. So we definitely approve of this one. We think it's, yeah. a, I think it's a definite winner. Solid. Yeah. Definitely solid, solid game to have in your collection if you like Euros. But otherwise, that's it. What about you? Anything else? No, that's it. Cool. Uh, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the playthrough. If you want to see more of these and support the channel, join our Patreon. Uh, people uh, seem to enjoy their time interacting <laughs> with us and all the extra behind the scenes content we provide. Um, go check out our update video. You'll get, you'll hear more about that. Mm -hmm. um, definitely join our discord where it's growing yeah. leaps and bounds. So uh, we've definitely get, gotten a lot of uh, traction lately on, uh, on channel growth, just growing our little community. We, we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, a lot of interactions are just, uh, things are good. So come join us though. We'd love to have you. Um, check down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You may think you are and you're not. So yes. go ahead and do that. That's another way to support the channel. It doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We'll see ya.